we have doubts over increasing costs, funding and completion dates of vessels 801 and 802. Island communities, meanwhile, continue to endure an ageing fleet. To complete the ferries may cost £293 million, £9.5 million of which has yet to be agreed. Auditors also raised concerns about bonus payments to senior managers at Ferguson Marine. These were made without proper procedures being in place and Scottish Government approval wasn't sought. Millions of pounds of public money has been invested at Ferguson Marine Shipyard, but doubts remain about its long-term future. An ongoing independent review will determine options for the future of the yard, as well as how much future public spending will be required. <laughs>